Novak Djokovic versus Lorenzo Musetti is a blockbuster third round match at the Monte Carlo Masters. Both guys have been very impressive to get to this stage. Musetti entered the tournament as the number 24 in the world and has gotten to the third round despite having a pretty poor win-loss record. For 2024, he's seven wins, nine losses, which is far below what he can really do, with his best result being a quarterfinal at Adelaide at the start of the year. His only quarterfinal for the season, he eventually lost to Bublik in that match in a close three-setter, but it's the furthest he's got at any tournament so far this year. His best win against Ben Shelton, that was actually at the Miami Open, where he played phenomenal tennis. And his worst loss against Kazo back in Dubai, with Kazo being number 86 in the world at the time. His form, though, has been pretty good, winning three of his last five matches, and that's not including the couple of wins he's already had this week against Fritz and Fies. Djokovic has entered the tournament as the number one in the world, and despite a positive win-loss record, hasn't been great this season. His record is eight win, three losses, which is great for most players, but his best result is only a semi-final. That was at the Australian Open, where he lost to Sinner in four sets. And I say only a semi-final at a Grand Slam, because usually, by this time, he's at least won a title or two, so coming into the clay season without a title is kind of strange. His best win was at that Australian Open. It was against Fritz, who was number 12 in the world at the time, a very close four-setter. But his worst loss was actually his last tournament in Indian Wells. He lost to Nardi, a lucky loser, 123 in the world, one of his worst losses of his career. His form has been good. I mean, he's won a lot of matches, but again, surprising losses. And he has lost two of his last three matches, including that last loss against Nardi. However, he did win against Sefulin in the first round of this tournament, looking really, really strong. So if he's able to replicate that, this should be interesting. These were played four times before, with Djokovic leading the head dead 3-1. However, they did play 12 months ago at this event with Musetti getting a three-set win. However, remember, Djokovic was injured going into that match. He did have an elbow problem, so it's hard to say whether or not Musetti would have won had Djokovic been 100% because the two matches prior to that one, Djokovic wiped the floor with Musetti on the hard courts. If Musetti's going to win this one, he's got to bring that aggression that he bought in the first two rounds. He played so well against Fritz and he looks so confident as well. It's like when jumping on the clay, it's a different guy and also use the confidence of winning last year against Djokovic. I know that I said that it wasn't really relevant for maybe Djokovic, but it is relevant for Musetti because the two matches they played on clay, he has pushed Norway. Djokovic is going to win this one. He needs to play like he did in the first round. Aggressive, like he has something to prove because he kind of does have something to prove this year because he hasn't been his best. He hasn't played well so far this year and guys like Sinner and Alcaraz have got titles where Djokovic is not. So this is a great opportunity for him to really prove himself and also prove that last year's loss was a fluke to Musetti. Great matchup. Hopefully we get the best of both guys because that will make a blockbuster matchup. But I've got to go with Djokovic in this one. I think he wins in three sets. I'm going to give Musetti a set. Let me know down in the comments below who's going to win this blockbuster.